All right. The only time we see Drew in the trailer is when we get to he's going over to um the first time he's sitting next to Don Carter's car and Monet pulls up in the bins. Now with this moment, let me see. I'm trying to piece it together where uh, Monet fights to get her family from under Carter's thumb. No, it ain't that one. All right, here we go. Drew must take out a threat to Carter's organization in order to protect his family. So I'm assuming this is probably episode seven where Drew is standing next to the vehicle. Because it's probably like, hey, there we got somebody on the inside that's fucking some shit up. It could be Kamal Tate. Because Kamal Tate, he's been tracking down uh, Monet Tejada. He knows about Tariq St. Patrick. So maybe maybe Drew has to get rid of them. Or it's Nico. Because it said it has he has to take out somebody in Carter's organization. Drew must take out a threat to Carter's. Oh, he takes out a threat to Carter's organization. Now, that could still be Kamal Tate could be a threat to the organization. Because Kamal knows about everything that's going on. He's already followed up with Tariq. Now he might be trying to follow up with the Tejada family. So it's like, hey, get rid of Kamal for me. Oh. But I don't I don't know, Demarcus, because Roman is still in jail. Remember, Roman, he's still being questioned, but he got arrested for the drugs. So I don't know if Roman is out yet. I'm assuming that Roman is still in. But Roman doesn't know anything about he doesn't know anything about Carter's organization. He just worked for Zion unless he they give us some information we didn't know about. Then this is where uh, Kendrick Lamar did not like us. And Prelude is moving flocks. Just maybe that's why we see him go crazy. But all right. So we know Drew is going to jail. So let's break that down because all right. We know Drew's got to go at somebody that's threatening Carter's organization. Now we haven't figured that out. Maybe when they start dropping like clips and uh, photos before the season starts, we'll, we'll be able to connect the dots a little bit more. Because that's episode seven. So episode six is probably going to be like the, that's going to be the the, the, the the stage, the foundation for what we got going on. That's where we're going to start building up everyone's story on how they're going to go these last four episodes. Because you got episode six to be five episodes left. Then it's going to be them branching out for the last four. So the only other time we see Drew. Is here in court. I mean, not in court, but in jail. The only thing is, if you look at it, it's like they're trying to control Drew. Drew is acting a damn fool, and they're trying to control him. Let me, hold on, let me try to find. Uh, download. All right, so here's the whole trailer here, but I, of course I can't play the whole thing, so. So if you watch the little clip that they give us of Drew, it looks like he may have got into it with a like got into a fight with somebody, or like you guys say, he may have killed somebody, maybe Roman on the inside. But it looks like the security guards are trying to contain him. See, it's real quick. And his mouth is bloody. So I don't know, like, maybe he was getting whooped on. Because look, the security guards, they're around him. But when you start seeing all these inmates in the back, that means somebody was in here fighting. So everybody's around fighting. Like, oh, get him. We ain't know Drew knew how to fight. Oh, get him, get him, get him. So for them to be showing Drew like this, because we know...
in the first teaser, we see Drew getting snatched up and dragged out. Now, what what this has me thinking though is because it looks like Drew is beat up. So since it looks like Drew is beat up, what I'm assuming now, if I had to put together a story, uh, what we seen in the this trailer is Drew gets into a fight and he maybe unalive somebody while he's in jail or beats him up. Then he goes in here and he's trying to talk to maybe Monet or somebody and tell them what happened inside of jail and the police are dragging him out. So I'm thinking that maybe this fight happens first. Drew beat up somebody or unalive somebody. And then that's where this photo comes from. After, after Drew gets in a fight, he goes and he's talking. Hey, yeah, they tried to get me out here, but I had to do what I had to do. Ma, I need a lawyer. And the cops are dragging him out. Or they're questioning Drew. Hey, what did you do in there? Why did you do this? And he's like, man, fuck it at this point. And they're dragging Drew the fuck up out of here after the fight had happened or the stabbing or the unalived. That's how I'm looking at it. We don't get much though, but oh, let me see. Is that, that all we got from Drew? Yeah, see, in the in the teaser, in the teaser, that's all we got from Drew is this picture here and him dragging Drew out. And then in the trailer, that's all we got was Drew standing next to the car and then Drew in the fight. This is still a funny-ass picture, man. I don't care what nobody says, man. This is probably the funniest picture I've seen in power. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking funny picture man hey put a three in the chat if you think drew won put a oh i don't even know put a anything other than a three in the chat if you think drew got his ass up to here like a nine three if drew won a nine if drew if it drew lost man <laughs> fucking Drew. Drew yelling like Dre. And wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. When you say yelling like Dre, you talking about when Dre got caught on fire? I mean, I, I like I said, I I do have I do have some information. And if you DM me, I did send out the information. So I mean, you know, I, I won't bring it up because I don't want to do no spoilers for anybody, just what we got going on. But I I, I said that Drew. So for those of y'all that do have the information from me, you know that I I keep it real. Like I said that Drew is going to outlive Kane, and I'm sticking with that, even with even with knowledge. I, I still say Drew, he's going to have a, a tougher life than Kane, especially with him being in jail. Because in the power universe, when you go to jail, it ain't play play. A lot of people don't make it out of jail. There's only a couple of people that made it out of jail. And even when they made it out of jail, they don't last long on the outside world. Because nine times out of ten, if you go to jail and you get out of jail in the power universe, they automatically assume that you're a snitch. In the power universe, if you go to jail and you get out of jail, they assume that you was in there talking. <laughs> that that's as simple as it gets. They assume that Joe ass is in there talking. How'd you get out of jail that fast, man? You know me, man. My name is Mo, man. You know I'm in this motherfucker. I'm kicking it. Like, hell no, nah, nigga. You was in this bitch, uh, dude. You talking? Like, no, nah, I wasn't talking, man. I just you, they just let me out. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. Uh, what was the dude's name? What uh, what's Teresi's first name? Teresi was in there talking.
Teresi was in there running his mouth. So most of the time when you see somebody getting out of jail in the power world, you can go ahead and assume they was in there talking. Drew being in jail, Don being alive could be bad. Expect a melee or a beatdown. Hope they don't <laughs> burn them up in a cell like they did Drake. Nah, I think that was once in a lifetime. That th the way they got rid of Drake was once in a lifetime. Hey, uh, Tony Teresi, there y'all go. See, listen, I might not remember names, but y'all know my motto. Y'all give me a character in a, a in a scene, I'll remember the rest of the story. That's all I need. You just give me a character in a scene. I'll remember the rest of the story, man. I forget. I'm not good with names, man. That's why you hear me say A or I give everybody a nickname. Eric, uh, Eric, check your DM. Check your DMs on Instagram real quick, Eric. That's if you that's if you want that information, Eric. If you don't want that information, then don't check what I just sent you. Uh, do I think Drew gets sent to jail in episode nine? Um, I'm thinking Drew's probably going to get arrested maybe like episode seven. I say maybe episode seven Drew gets arrested because that'd give a sixth for the build up. No, maybe maybe eight, maybe eight. My bad. Because I was thinking of five, six, seven, like five to ten, but it's six to ten. So I say maybe eight. For him to get to like fighting, let's say he gets arrested eight, gets to fighting nine, and then we'll figure out what's the, the outcome of Drew, probably like in the finale. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I definitely say probably because I don't I don't I don't want to see Drew get locked up too early. Cause they say in it said in episode seven, he has to eliminate a threat. So maybe he's getting arrested in seven and then the threat's in jail for like eight. You know what I'm saying? He gets arrested in seven, and then episode eight, we see maybe this. Because I don't think you want to put this too late into the season because it's like, man, damn, we only got like an episode, two episodes left. So I, I'm looking at it from that standpoint as far as we got to try to put some action earlier in the season because at the end, you don't want you don't want to oversaturate it with like too much, too much. Kids like, all right, man, y'all did it. You're doing too much. Monet don't like snitches. Man, fucking Monet's a snitch, though. Remember, Monet was fucking Ramirez, telling Ramirez everything. She was telling the cops everything. I don't know, man. I'm matter of fact, this is where we're going. This is where we're gonna cut it, man. This is where we this is where we're gonna cut it. We're gonna end it, we're gonna end it right here. We're gonna end it right here. Drew's gonna get locked up. We'll do some more lives once it gets closer to it. Drew's gonna get locked up, and we're gonna see how that turns out for the boy. But what I can say. After this trailer and this intensive breakdown that we did, I'm believing the hype. I'm believing the hype. I'm believing. I I think that they're gonna pull off something nice for the 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 remainder of this season. I think we're gonna get something nice. Now, is it gonna be a ten? Probably not. But I got it on like a, a scale of. I, I think. I think this last part is gonna be around the eight. Now you know I'm I'm I try to be as honest as possible. I don't do no glazing. If it ain't good, then I'm gonna tell you it ain't good. We just watched House of the Dragon. 
very disappointed in HBO for that shit. Now, I understand they only got four seasons. So it's like uh, maybe season three, we start off in the middle of the war. We like, damn, okay, a lot of shit happened. But I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, they could pull off an eight at least. A seven and a seven is the lowest I'm going to go. I would hate to see Ghost end on a six. I think they can pull off a seven and a half minimum. Uh, seven and a half minimum, man. But we got to look at R.I.P. to Lorenzo because Lorenzo was right this whole time. I knew you was going to let that nigga in. Tariq, we raised you better than that, Diana. R.I.P. Lorenzo, the real Zoe. I knew you was going to let that nigga in. Tariq, we raised you better than that, Diana. Diana was out here like, I'm in a bind, Nate. Damn. You know, 